What's up guys and welcome back. Star Wars The Clone Wars The Phantom Apprentice was one of the best, if not the best, Clone Wars episode we've ever gotten. And it went in a few directions that I didn't necessarily expect. Most predominantly was the fact that Maul actually asked Ahsoka to join him, and that Maul believed he would actually be able to destroy Darth Sidious if he and Ahsoka were to team up and join forces, realizing what the former Padawan of Anakin Skywalker did not that the Twilight of the Republic and the Jedi were upon them, and that Darth Sidious would finally rise as Emperor Palpatine. In the episode, though, Ahsoka holds true to character and her values, refusing Maul's offer and instead, again, attempting to catch him and deliver him to the Jedi Council alive, something that he's ultimately successful at. Again, though, I did find it really compelling that Maul wanted Ahsoka to join him rather than outright kill her. Maul has always been looking for something, and Maul full well knows, especially following his duel with his brother and himself against Sidious that he stands no chance against the Dark Lord alone. He needs help. He needs someone powerful by his side. And according to his comments here, that individual that he believed would one day be able to overcome Sidious with his help was Ahsoka. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a different What If series. Previously in my What If scenarios, I've made an entire narrative revolving around the brand new version of the story that I create. Here though, I want to look at this very analytically, and truly delve deep into what I think would happen if Ahsoka and Maul joined forces. I've also been toiling with the idea of making a separate video on if Darth Maul and Obi-Wan actually attempted to team up against Vader and Palpatine. So if you'd like to see that installment next, hit that like button. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue with what I think would happen if Ahsoka and Maul actually joined forces on Mandalore, with the ultimate goal to overthrow Darth Sidious, and hopefully by the end of this video, I will have answered the big question. Could Maul and Ahsoka together defeat Vader as well as Sidious? Spoilers will follow for the Ahsoka novel as well as Star Wars The Clone Wars. In the Ahsoka novel, just following Order 66, Ahsoka went straight into hiding, unlike Maul who assumed leadership over Crimson Dawn, the criminal organization that he constructed. I do firmly believe that together, Ahsoka and Maul would follow Maul's original plan. After Star Wars The Clone Wars, after Maul escapes, his plan was to lay low, cultivating his power in the more unknown regions of space and outer regions, specifically the underworld elements of the Star Wars galaxy, becoming the leader of the most powerful criminal organization around, only rivaled by that of the Hutt, obviously Crimson Dawn. But this was not Maul's ultimate goal. His ultimate goal was to still find a way to overcome his enemies, too specifically, Darth Sidious and Obi-Wan Kenobi. When we encounter Darth Maul in Star Wars Rebels, he's attempting to harness the power of the super weapon on the planet of Malachor, where he would become trapped and Darth Sidious would send several Inquisitors to hunt him down. Inquisitors that stood no chance against the former Phantom Apprentice. Again, Maul sought out Malachor and the super weapon because he believed within the Sith Temple was what could lead to the key of Sidious's and Vader's death, searching for anything to give him the edge. And it's only after the Temple on Malachor was destroyed that Maul went after his second place pride, and if he could not harness the power to kill Sidious, he would do all he could to hunt down and kill Kenobi. Maul is far from a fool, and I believe his first task would be to separate Vader from Sidious, after he and Ahsoka had harnessed as much power as possible. A fairly simple task, as Darth Sidious, especially during the era of the Empire, was not quick to directly engage in combat, or even reveal that he had force abilities at all. This is most prominently shown that when Maul reappears in Star Wars Rebels, Sidious directly orders the Inquisitors to hunt him down, not deeming him worthy enough of his time. He doesn't even send Darth Vader until the Rebels become involved with the planet. I believe that this would play directly into the hands of Ahsoka and Maul, assuming again the two of them have united in the power of the dark side of the Force. As I've talked about extensively on Twitter, I believe Ahsoka is far more powerful than we 
we all initially anticipated. Out of all of the canon Jedi that have come against the might of Darth Vader, she's done the best job with his duel with him in Star Wars Rebels. Now, by no means do I believe that Ahsoka would eventually defeat Darth Vader in their Rebels duel as we saw otherwise, simply that she put up a phenomenal fight against the Dark Lord. It's clear that one-on-one, -on -one, Vader would be able to defeat both Ahsoka as well as Maul. I also believe firmly that he would have a more difficult time with Ahsoka, within Star Wars The Clone Wars, Ahsoka and Maul being nearly equal. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that the Ahsoka in Star Wars Rebels is way more powerful than I initially anticipated, superseding the power of Maul, and maybe overall, approaching the power of an individual such as Dooku. That is why I believe if Ahsoka and Maul were able to get Vader one-on-one, -on -one, they could overcome him. Far from an easy task, and one of them very well could die. But I do not believe it is impossible. But this leads into the deeper question. What would happen if Ahsoka and Maul eventually came against the might of Darth Sidious? I think it's pretty clear that if Sidious and Vader both directly went after Ahsoka and Maul, which I believe something that very well could happen, Ahsoka and Maul would stand no chance. It's only if they were able to separate the two of them. Together, they're nearly invincible against any other two Star Wars characters. Let's just say though, for the sake of the video, that Ahsoka and Maul are both able to kill Vader and they both make it out alive. Would they stand a chance against Emperor Palpatine? I do not believe so. In his duel against Maul and Savage Opress, Sidious toiled with the two false Sith Lords. He was ahead of them every single step of the way. And in all of canon, in, in direct duels, Palpatine has never been defeated, with perhaps the exception of Mace Windu a single time. You also have to take into account the mental state of Darth Maul when facing his master. Maul fears Sidious more than anybody. In fact, he's probably the only individual that Maul truly fears. Just as we saw with this duel between the two of them on Mandalore, Maul is instantly thrown off of his game when fighting Sidious. And this is all just thinking if they were ever able to get in a room alone with Palpatine with Ahsoka and Maul. An impressive feat on its own. As the second Vader is taken off the board, Palpatine is going to take that threat very seriously, putting the might of the entire Empire against them. To put everything simply, I believe that Ahsoka and Maul teaming up would not result in the eventual death of Darth Sidious. And although I believe that together they could possibly overcome Vader, this is not a surety either. This all leads into one of the fatal character flaws of Maul his overconfidence, something that has been plaguing him since the very first appearance in The Phantom Menace, when he believed that he had a Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi dead to right. We have seen it so many times, even recently with Ahsoka, where Maul enters moments in engagements where he believes he has completely won, and lets his guard down, something that would not happen at all against the might of Sidious or Vader. With Ahsoka by his side, it does change things slightly though. By no means do I expect Ahsoka and Maul to overcome Vader as well as Sidious, however. There's no doubt with the dark side Ahsoka by his side, Crimson Dawn would grow to powers and heights unimaginable with simply Maul. But Crimson Dawn is a criminal organization. It is not the Empire. To put it simply, I believe Maul and Ahsoka would thrive during the dark times, but overcome Sidious and become Dark Lords themselves, I find to be a stretch. As always guys, this is simply just my opinion based on the Star Wars knowledge that I possess. But now I would love to hear what you think. What do you think the Star Wars galaxy would look like if Ahsoka actually joined Maul? Do you think that I'm wrong? Do you think that together Ahsoka and Maul could overcome both Vader as well as Sidious? Or do you think they would ultimately be overcome by the true Sith? Again, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to hear my thoughts on Maul and Obi-Wan teaming up to defeat Darth Vader or Anakin, leave a like. If we could get this video to 5,000 likes, that would be absolutely phenomenal and make my day. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for watching until the end. May the force be with you and have a great day.